Today, readers, we have a nonfiction book. Remember, nonfiction books tell us facts or true information. In this book, we are going to learn facts about raccoons. This nonfiction book does not have an illustrator because it has real photographs instead to help us learn more about raccoons. Raccoons, written by Alan Fowler. Have you ever worn a mask on Halloween? A raccoon has black fur around its eyes. It looks like it is wearing a mask. A raccoon's fur is gray or brownish gray. It has a bushy tail with black rings. Raccoons are about 24 to 36 inches long, including the tail. Bushy means thick and fuzzy with lots of fur. Raccoons have five toes with sharp claws on each paw. A raccoon uses its front paws like hands. The red panda and the ringtail are close relatives of the raccoon. Relatives means they are in the same animal family. Red panda, two ringtails. The strangest relatives of the raccoon are the kiwati and the kin ki ju. Kiwati, Kinkiju. Raccoons are good swimmers. They can also climb trees. Most raccoons live in the forests of North and South America. They build houses called dens in hollow trees, tree stumps, or logs. Their homes are usually near a pond or a stream. I heard the author, Alan, called a raccoon house a den. That was a new word that I learned today. I am now going to use the word den when I talk about raccoons and where they live. Many raccoons live close to cities or towns. They may look for food in gardens or garbage cans. Raccoons usually hunt at night. Readers, stop and think. Why do you think we do not see raccoons during the day? Turn and tell the person you are watching the video with why do you think we do not see raccoons during the day? I hope you said that a raccoons are awake and hunt at night and sleep during the day. That means raccoons are nocturnal. Nocturnal is a word that you learned today. You can now use the word nocturnal when you talk about animals that are awake at night. Raccoons like to eat mice, small birds, fish, crabs, frogs, corn, fruit, and insects. A raccoon eating an apple. During cold winter months, raccoons only leave their dens when they are hungry. They, there are no plants to eat, but they can still catch fish and small birds. A raccoon catching a fish.
Young raccoons are born in the spring. A mother raccoon usually gives birth to three or four young at a time. A newborn raccoon weighs less than a fork. Newborn raccoons. Young raccoons leave their den when they are about 10 weeks old. Then mother raccoons teach their young to hunt. When the young raccoons are about a year old, they begin life on their own. Words you know, coyote, den, mask, paw, ringtails. Readers, what did you think about the book? Turn and tell the person you are watching the video with, what did you think about the book? Authors teach us new vocabulary in nonfiction books. I remember that our author, Alan, called a raccoon house a den. That is a new word that I learned. From now on, I am going to use that new word den when I talk about raccoons and where they live. Stop and think. What did you learn about raccoons in our book today? Try to use some of the exact words you had heard in this book in your answer. Mrs. Altman and I want you to record what you learned about raccoons in the book today. And we want you to try to use some of that exact words you heard in the book in your answer.